The world of antiques reveals mysterious stories. Are you curious which one we are going to share with you today? Join us on this unique art journey on finding out how the world of neoclassical art had got to meet the world of photography. My name is Rabah al -Awar, a photographer, digital artist, art writer and researcher. We are today at the Cabinet of Curiosity, an antique gallery at the heart of Dubai. During my first visit, I discovered their unique collection and came across this beautiful aesthetically styled box. It was made of wood, upholstered with rich brown leather and is adorned with gilt stamping. The interior of the box was made of royal purple velvet. However, what drew my attention to this box the most was the stamp of its creator that was visible on top of its opening rim. To my surprise, it said Maison Giroux. This Parisian establishment was a very important name back in the 19th century, being the product of its famed founder, François Simon Alphonse Giroux. And till this day, it continues to be known globally, especially among art collectors, auction houses, and famous museums. And thus, this Maison Giroux box would then turn into my newest artistic obsession, becoming a detailed subject within my latest research that had kept opening for me many curious insights. François Simon Alphonse Giroux was a painter, an ebeniste or cabinet maker, an art restorer, and a manufacturer of luxury furniture and accessories. So called the Merchant of the Princes, he contributed to the development of new industrial art and took part in the invention of photography. But what was the beginning of his career? Artistically, Giroux was primarily influenced by his master painter, Jacques Louis David. Witness with me here these prints of two beautiful paintings. One by David, which is famously known as Napoleon crossing the Alps from 1800, and the other being a portrait of him that was painted by a woman artist named Marie Eleonore Jodefoy from 1843. Jacques Louis David was initially a Rococo painter. He later challenged himself and became a neoclassicist. His style would later gain much momentum all throughout Europe, and he will become an art master and teacher to many other artists, one of which was the hero of our story. Of course, Giroud would later start his own company in Paris, where he would famously name it Maison Alphonse Giroud et Compagnie. And from there, the style of his teacher, Jacques-Louis David, would later make it into many of Giroud's lovely creations of house furniture and decorative works, such as this box. The adorning of the box is very much unique. It shows a combination of Asian and European influences. Given the flat background of the displayed scenes on the box and the representational style of its depicted florals, birds and bees, it is easily for us to classify it as a work from the 19th century aesthetic movement in Europe. Other elements on the box do in fact reveal neoclassical designs that would also be found on other Giroux made boxes. These are the bulbous terminals of some of the floral stones and the beautiful shell-like decorations on the box's cover. However, some combined Rococo and neoclassical elements could also be noted in the more realistically styled pattern florals on the cover of the box as well. Giroud did not only create home decor items like this box alone, he would become instrumental in producing another special type of box to aid with the photographic invention, the daguerreotype camera, which he co-created with Louis-Jacques Monde Daguerre, who we can see here in a copy of a daguerreotype photograph that was taken by Charles Richard Mead during 1848. Even nowadays, the name of Daguerre is popular within the photographic community. We try to use a lens made in the 19th century optical design to capture this lovely featured piece. And you can see other results of these photographic experiments on the Cabinet of Curiosity website. The daguerreotype camera box and the daguerreotype process in general would then revolutionize photography all throughout Europe, 
and proved to be commercially successful as well. A curious observation about that era though, early photographers in the 19th century deduced compositional rules and elements like those of the neoclassical masters. In later stages, Maison Alphonse Giroux et Compagnie would become a hub as well for photographers, such as Désiré Millet, who would later start teaching other aspiring photographers at his studio at the Maison in Paris. The Maison would also later work with newer photographic inventions in the 19th century, such as the salted paper printing process that was invented by William Henry Fox Talbot, and where an example of this printing technique is shown right here, in a work by André Giroux, who is also the son of François Simon Alphonse Giroux himself. So there you have it, Jacques Louis David the Master, François Simon Alphonse Giroux the Ebeniste, and Louis Jacques Mondet Daguerre the Inventor. Of course, along with other inventors, who we will be speaking about in our future art talk, that would be hosted by me, along with a team from the Cabinet of Curiosity. Please stay tuned and you will also see how my own story as an artist and researcher would tie along with this whole picture as well.